Studio SoCal reporter David Azar brings us the exciting news of what's happening at City of Hope. Hi, David. David. Hi, guys. And as you know, the numbers are staggering, aren't they? I mean, cancer is the second leading cause of death after heart disease in the U.S. So far, the treatments have been mainly surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation individually or a combination. Now, what leading cancer researchers and doctors want to do is have something called T-cell immunotherapy be a partner in that quest for a cure. Get good results on the next scan that's coming. Cherie Payne could either be one of the luckiest people around or the victim of bad luck. During a routine appointment with her dermatologist in 2012, a suspicious lump was found in her neck. It turned out to be an extremely rare form of blood cancer known as mantle cell lymphoma. This Los Angeles resident chose to be treated here at City of Hope in Duarte, known the world over for the research and treatment of cancer. City of Hope has been around for 100 years. However, Cherie chose them because of something new being done here. Doctors are in clinical trials with something called T-cell immunotherapy. The T-cell immunotherapy is a way of redirecting a person's immune system to react against the cancer that's afflicting them. The T cells are one of the cells in our blood lymph node system that protects us from infections. When we take T cells out of the body of a patient and re-educate those T cells to recognize the cancer and put them in, they are like serial killers. They will find the cancer and even a few cells, if we can get them there, they will begin to knock off the cancer cells that are there. The team of doctors at City of Hope determined Cherie was a good candidate to be part of their clinical trials. There are many reasons why some cancer patients are not good T-cell immunotherapy candidates, possibly because of their specific type of cancer or the fact that they had complications with previous cancer treatments. I felt that I, I, I had a shot at it. I never felt that I was doomed in any way, ever. I, I always felt very positive that I would that I would get through this. And this is so new. This is such cutting edge technology. I mean, were you concerned you might be the guinea pig here? No. Be um, honest. No, no. This is the City of Hope's T-cell immunotherapy laboratory. There is so much happening here. On a daily basis, researchers and scientists are doing a number of amazing things. Most importantly, though, they are collecting the T-cells then they are genetically reprogramming them so that the T cells can recognize the cancer. Once that's done, the T cells are expanded in number so that there are enough of them to attack the cancer and eventually the patient can be infused with the T cells. And I wanna show you something else that's interesting here at the City of Hope Laboratory. This is one of the germ-free rooms here. And what researchers are basically doing is feeding the T cells then they harvest and culture them. Eventually, the T cells land here in what looks to be a refrigerator. Actually, this is kind of like a mini sauna because the T cells really want to stay warm, like your body temperature. It starts from making pieces of DNA that can reprogram an immune system, taking specific immune cells and re-engineering them, and then testing those in the lab to make sure they're working. So when we start those phase one clinical trials, we really believe in them and we know what's happening. Right now there are four trials that are open here at the City of Hope, focused on leukemia and lymphoma. And in the next few months, we expect we'll be opening trials for a different type of leukemia. The work to date has shown that it is possible to engineer a T cell that can go to a cancer and kill it and put the patient into remission. Our hope, our work is focused on extending that to all different types of cancers. So in these next couple of years, we'll be putting in T cells against brain tumors, prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, a different type of leukemia, multimyeloma that's never been done before. How lucky do you feel? <laughs> um, beyond words. I don't allow myself to do this. Um, I'm a very positive person and um, I just want to feel good and be happy. So I, th I think I have to get to the point that accepting the fact that I am a survivor and I'm, I'm in a very, very rare commodity. She's a survivor. Cherie Payne is so great. So are all those good folks at City of Hope. Now, we do want to emphasize that this treatment, remember, it's just clinical trials. It's not available to the public yet. And of course, with every medical thing, there could be some side effects. Certain enzymes could be released in your body during the treatment. 
leading to possibly dangerously high fevers and low blood pressure. So of course you'll want to talk with your doctor first about all this. By the way, there's no cost to patients for any clinical trial. Now, Rick and Elizabeth, if folks want to have more information on all of this T-cell therapy, all they have to do is check out the City of Hope website, which is at cityofhope.org. Again, at cityofhope.org. What a powerful story. story. Yeah. I mean, yeah. thank you yeah. uh, to City of Hope for that.